the show. A show called The American Dream. When you think of the American Dream, you tend to think about real estate and, of course, all housing markets are local right here in San Diego. This man was born and raised here, been doing real estate for quite some time. One of the best in the business. George Lorimer, real estate elite, joins us in studio. What's up, George? Not much. Great to be here. Love having you on, man. Yeah, thank you. We were in the field with you last time. Yep. We Go saw some great, we got our fun flippers. They did a great project in Rancho Bernardo on the golf course there, and they took it from being kind of a blight within the neighborhood to being beautiful. That's a great little area of San yeah, Diego. Of course, absolutely. everywhere in San Diego is great. So we have prices have gone up over the year, houses and condos, break mm -hmm. it down for us. Yeah, so what we're looking at with, in general, so the median price of houses is around 553000 okay, as of last month. And okay. then so medium, Craig, you'll remember from math, it's half oh, don't, sold above. Don't, don't put me on the spot in front of our audience. <laughs> half right? sold below. And then average is 715000 for detached homes. So average is you get, take the total number, divide it by. So you have the median is yep. half above, half below. And uh, condominiums then are at the median price is 375000 And then the average price home is 451000 for townhomes and condos. And rates remain low. So as, those might sound like big prices. But compared to what you pay in rent in this town, I mean, there's uh, there's still a lot of great opportunities. Yeah, interestingly enough, so there the house prices are right about depending on the area, the height we've ever seen, they're a little bit under that still, if you can believe that That's in crazy. general. And then condos are up about eight point six percent from the the total high we had you know ten years ago. So how do you feel about the market this year? Yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, man, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I feel like we have real buyers. That's yes. good. Uh, rates are low. Who knows if those will go up or what will happen there? But what do you what are you seeing? Like, what's the activity look yeah. like? So, as you know, I list a lot of homes and I represent a lot of buyers and sellers. And what we're seeing is a lot of multiple offers on it. Okay, so that's good. Right? Yeah, You're still seeing it's good. Some... Yeah, so we're seeing multiple offers. But the buyers, I think, are like they see a property they like. They're maybe not committed to it. They put an offer in. So they may not be real offers. So we're having to wade through a lot of offers of people that have maybe put different offers on different properties. The median price on a house, you said, is $553,000. Yeah. let us say somebody who's watching the show today, and by the way, if you're looking to sell your home or you have questions about real estate, we have a text line you can reach out to us. Text any of your questions to the number you see on your screen right now, and we will answer them after the show. Uh, but if someone was looking to sell their house... Yeah. I mean, it was 553000 ballpark, and yeah. you priced it right where it should be. Uh -huh. How long do you think it's got to sit on the market before it's sold? Pretty quick. Okay, so it's moving. <laughs> yeah, like, for example, we had one that we listed on Friday. We put on the market on Monday, and by Wednesday, we had multiple offers, including mm. at asking price. Well, a good thing to do right now is see what the property value is. If you text that number and just put the word value in, we'll ask for your name and email, and we'll help connect the dots on that. I know you do this on your right. website as well, George. So I'd love to just help our audience. I'm trying to engage them a little bit more, not just give the information, yeah. but actually I, I call myself a consumer activist because I want you to do something about it. So text us questions. You want to know your property value, anything like that. Uh, we can help you. Give us some stories, right? You have buyers and sellers you're working with. You have several listings yeah. out there right now. So walk us through just some of the things that you're working on yeah. right now and what the temperament so is. So what we're seeing, okay, so we talked about the prices. They're right about the height of where they were 10, 12 years ago. But many people have been staying in that same property because they didn't have a ton of equity, but their life has changed. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've had kids, they want to go to a better school district. So they want to move up. Maybe they're getting older and they're moving to retirement, but the price of their home, you know, seven, eight years ago was so low that they didn't want to sell it because people's equity is a major portion of their retirement. So we're having people that have been waiting to do something. The prices are at the point that they can make the move, and so they're doing it. Like I've got one gentleman on one of the properties we're selling here in Mission Valley where he's been waiting on a list, a retirement list, to get in military retirement housing. Wow. So they gave it to him, and there, there was last week, and they said to him, hey, you got to be moved out, and I'll have it sold and everything by the end of March huh. and moved to Texas. So with that gentleman, what we do, uh, you know, a very big benefit is we offer the guaranteed sale program because people don't want to be stuck with two homes right. and two payments. Yep. 
So they always want an insurance policy. So when you talk to us, we can give you a written cash offer where we'll sell it on the open market at top dollar. And if for some reason in the unlikely event it doesn't sell in the open market, we'll give you a guaranteed cash offer. So you got that oh crap moment, your, your rip cord, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, you <laughs> right. don't want to end up with two homes that, exactly. can get, that can get pretty pricey. You have some listings in Mission Valley. You have a duplex that's yeah. on the market right now. Tell us about these. So, okay, so duplex, great. You know, it's 600,000, it's in Claremont. Um, the unit mix is there's two, two bedroom, one bath. So it's priced 600,000 for the whole property. And it's bringing in about 3,900 a month in income. Wow. So that's pretty good. You have no homeowner's fees. You have property taxes that are about 600 per month. And you have income coming of 3,900. See, I would think that something like that wouldn't even make it to the market, it, right? Well, here's an interesting thing I told you about all the buyers. So multiple buyers, but a job as an agent like me with a lot of experience, a lot of sales, whatever you get in as an offer may not be the best offer. People, mm. it's tough for, people don't see it because they don't sell at homes every day like me. A lot of people are very insincere. On their Whether, offers? Yeah, and... You know, a and lot it's of, not just about price. There's correct. a lot more that goes into it. Price, terms, closing date. And a lot of time on the income property, since they've had them occupied, they haven't really done anything to it. So it's sold in the present condition because you have tenants in there. And there's a term, Craig, you probably know this, but on a lot of the investment real estate, people retrade. So they'll give you a price. Everybody thinks we'll have a deal at that price, and they'll come back with a lower figure or retrade. Hmm. Sellers, of course, hate that, right? Yeah. Because they're counting on a certain amount. And mm -hmm. so I guess the question is, you say, how does it make it to the market? Well, several offers, but we wade through a lot of those offers to get what really benefits the seller best and get a deal that's a comparison of good price, closing, and a certainty on closing. George Lorimer, man, you, uh, you are a leader in the marketplace. We appreciate you coming in here, not only helping us understand the market, but you're one of the better marketers uh, buyers and sellers, what's the best place for them to go if they have questions, they want to reach out yeah. to you? It's probably our main website, georgelormer.com. And it's so funny you mentioned marketing because, you know, we sell a lot of inexpensive condos. You know, that's, that's what we do. People buy them as second residences. People buy them as starter homes. On our marketing, what we're doing is it's kind of tough sometimes to sell 400 square feet. For yeah. a lot of money, right? Yeah. Whether it's downtown, Hillcrest, Mission Valley. Right. So we have to sell the value of being in the neighborhood, the building. So what we're doing is we're going in and doing some amazing photo and virtual tours, and we'll include those links. And we have them so that you have aerial shots. It shows you how close you are to Balboa Park, the walkability of stuff. So it's selling more the neighborhood than just, you know, the small area inside. Yeah, you have people that have always said location, location, yeah. location. Now you can think, well, lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle. Exactly. Just to be in that area. And there's a lot of people taking on this minimalist living, which, yep. which I houses. love. I yeah. love it. GeorgeLormer.com. George, one of the best in the business, born and raised in San Diego, an all-star realtor. Love learning about the market from him. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Thank always you appreciate so much, it. Craig. Appreciate um, it. More of the American Dream coming up next.